Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Home Affairs. It's reported the Minister played a role in getting a job at Border Force for his former police colleague and friend, and the same former colleague was appointed as liaison officer in the Minister's office. Is the Minister aware the intended employer of the Italian au pair told a journalist to contact the same liaison officer when asked about the au pair and referred to the liaison officer by name? Was the minister aware this person from his office also the knew time has the concluded. intended employee? Member's time has concluded. The minister will address the questions that were asked within the 30 seconds. The member for Deakin and the member for Wright will cease interjecting. The leader of the house will cease interjecting. The minister has the call. Well, Mr. Speaker, again, uh, just dig a little bit deeper here because these attacks of a personal nature are only based on the lies and the information of an individual, which I'll go to in a second. Uh, the officer that you spoke that you spoke of is a, a decorated and distinguished officer, over 20 years of service uh, with the Queensland Police Service. He applied for a job uh, with the Australian Border Force. Uh, there was no interference with that process. Uh, he went through the organisational requirements, uh, and he was employed by Australian Border Force, and he was. Uh, uh, done so completely on merit. Now, if you've got a suggestion to the contrary, I'd be happy to hear it, but I'd be happy if you made the statements outside of this place. Uh, because this smear, this smear is coming from the former Australian Border Force Commissioner, a man who was, as Commissioner, sacked from his position. He was a man who had groomed a girl 30 years younger than himself. He is discredited and disgraced. Mr. Speaker, the Members reality is left. that he was. This is important, Members Mr. Speaker, on my left because understand the motivation of those opposite. As it turns out, his executive officer now is a senior advisor. Who to? The leader of the opposition. The leader of the opposition, Mr. Speaker. So all of this muck that's been thrown. I'd note that Mr. Quadley doesn't doesn't turn up in person to the Senate inquiry. I suspect because he doesn't want to be cross-examined. So what he does is puts out these fictitious bits of information and salacious detail that he can't back up. He's been proved already to be discredited. He, he is somebody that the Labor Party shouldn't rely on. And Mr Speaker, I think what's happened here is that a lot has been promised to the Labor Party, but it's clear to me that Roman Quadlick is your Godwin Gretsch. The member for Fairfax. Uh, thank